Hello everybody and welcome to Chronic Pain Show 227. Heading out to here I have a topia. We've got the open match already underway as we speak going at it. Next to me unfortunately is Jess Awesome. Yeah. So basically this match I believe was made Oh, good move by Striker. Because of Amy's dislike for happy of late, being friends with Ivan. You know, the association thing. Ivan, obviously, because he turned on her and Stryker, because she doesn't like Stryker. So we can all three face each other as we speak. And this trouble for that. Oh, it's, and this, this is a main event situation, and it's an opening match. Then this the match after good. that, I'm looking more forward to. After the, 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 the horrible situation last week, where Griffin once again tried it on with my wife Ruby, guess what? Amy agreed, and now she's basically said, I can pick an opponent to face him in a cage. So I got my wallet out. Gave it a little money to none other than Grimhold. Griffin and Grimhold in the case, people. Going to go at it later. So that's going to be good to see Griffin get destroyed for what he tried to do last week. Amy doesn't she's going to like anybody in that ring. And what do you mean? Griffin's not going after her. Yeah, we did you see last week. And we're going to open credits now. And the main event's going to be for the women number one tennis spot against Ape Ruby herself. Let's go. Well, hello there. Welcome to Avatopia Wrestling Domination. This is Chronic Pain Show 227. The game is Protoss X, currently in early access on Steam, where you can buy it. As you can see by the link on the screen, me, Adidopia, and my wife, who is going to be helping out with this, has nothing to do with the game other than buying it and playing it and enjoying it. Same goes for any Fire Pro Wrestling World gameplay that might be used in this video. The link for them is also from Steam, above on the screen. And also, I would like to add, the opening music you can hear right now is from the title screen from the Pro Wrestling X game itself as well as being written by Douglas Patrick. Check out his YouTube and hope you enjoy the show. So as we said, we're getting back to the match in a second. The trouble threat, Ivan Striker and Happy Man. Again, there's a conscious being an event right here. Easy. Then Griffin got destroyed by Grimhold. You know, got half of my wage packet this year. Well, actually, my whole wage packet. Now, we'll attend the spot on the line for the women's title. we got Carol, Abby, Lindsay, Zoe, Sabrina, Tanya. And of course, we basically should have been out here. Who was better than Jess, of course, Sally. And then we got this new person, Ruthless. So let's see what she can do in a debut as this match is underway, people. I'm really sorry that you feel that way. Of course I do. You've been manipulating me the whole time. I There's a good move to Ivan. I got you this. It's all of the taping since you've been gone. Full versions, uh, not yeah, cut out. I've watched all of them other than Dane's but matches. But you haven't. I watched the ones Ruby gave me. I said I'd skip games matches. That was it. I expected that'd be a two minute match. Maybe you should just look at it and see that I'm not lying and I'm telling the truth. And here comes Ivan in the back pre recorded. Let's see what he has to say now. So I've seen Joey's challenge because you can't fight him. He's put me in the match with Striker. I don't really care for. So I'm beating the living snot out of him. going to be great. And of course, again. Good friend of mine, happy man, but at the same time, we both understand each other. That's why you can't really use him against me. We're in a match with each other. We will fight. We have to. It's that simple. So you're going to break us apart by doing this. And he also knows to stay at, at his side, but I stay at my side. And all that stuff. And of course, to know Tiffy is at home, going to get birth in a month or two. So, you haven't got anything holding me a great match tonight. Well done, Amy. You know why you're giving me a great match? Because like normal, it is Riva time. Now from Ivan, and I bet Happy's a, like, thanking the stars his title is online for this. Oh well, yeah, of course. As Ivan got Striker out where he wants him, and of course, Striker, I guess we should mention, uh, if people aren't aware of it, because it obviously happened just a few days before last week's show, is, is married to the boss, Amy Lee. So do you Law, like sorry, him? Law. <laughs> well, I was going to say she didn't marry Lee Legend. Yeah, he's in hospital. I put him and there. here comes Striker in the back, pre recorded. Do you to say? Now. Show stop here. I'm in the opening match tonight, taking on Ivan. Of course, I'm the better guy. And then the carnage who won me. And happy man. String fighter champion. Well, too bad your belt in the line, or I'll be going around my waist tonight. And before people ask, the main event uh, tonight was supposed to be Bryce getting a tag opportunity if he, if he won. But well, that ain't gonna happen. It was kind of a little mix up with that. Well, basically, it evolved a certain pyro bing being sent on a, a message or an errand, should I say, by Amy. Even though technically Amy didn't say it, I just said it came from her. So she found out, and he ain't gonna be back in time for the show. Meaning Bryce and them can't have a tag match. So it's gotta be postponed. Oh well, well, well no big loss after all. She got the show stuff on the show. <laughs> I was going to say about that, I just thought because I haven't been back for a while, but my notes did state 
uh, uh, Bryce and Pyro Ding in the main event. But then when it came up, I was like, okay. I wonder who's gonna K first. Who's gonna what? Who's gonna K first? Striker oh, Amy. Remember. I don't know, because apparently I got the impression that Striker sent him on the air it from Amy. So he, she, he's basically ruined their main event today. Hmm. Should have been okay. Bryce Power Ding. I believe it's supposed to be against the Wild Brothers. But he also painted her office and oh, spent a lot of money. Yeah, yellow and what was it? What was it? Three grand they said last week on chocolates? I can remember. Flowers. Yeah, I can remember. And from the IWD account. Oh, super kick. Two in a row. Tommy Kevin. Oh! Like Ivan's going this Oh, another one! Boom! So you have one, I give one to you. One to you, one to you. Who do you doing? think's gonna ultimately win? If it stays on a one on one match, I'm gonna go with Ivan for the simple reason that I think he has half his number. Because they know each other better than anyone. And Strike is too preoccupied with his little games with Amy. If, it, if it's obviously up to someone else to decide to feel like Amy in that, then and it could change. Speaking of happy, here he is in the back with his pre-recorded... Nine-time champ. Let's see what he has to say. Why is it always the same? I just come here, I get the job done, I prove I'm the greatest champion of all time. Nine-time Street Fighter champion, baby. Nine-time. And yet... No matter who's in charge, they want to screw the happy man. It was Gary want to screw me. Sir Dave want to screw me. Theodore want to screw me. And of course, Amy Law seems to as well. But yes, I will keep going out there. I'll do the matches he puts me in. And I will try my best not to retaliate. So let this be a warning, Amy. Unless you want me to side with Ivan 100% and make us stronger. Stop. Where the happy screwing, or else you'll be having sad, sad days. Do you understand me? <laughs> don't a lot of people are happy when they screw? Well, I guess you know you do it with everybody, don't you, Jess? I don't. Oh, okay. I'll move there. You do it while I was basically supposedly gone missing. That's all you were doing. You were missing. I looked everywhere for you. You exactly where it was. Amy, Amy, Amy and all them. And, and if I didn't care about Ruby you, why would you. I take care of your animals? And Ruby. Yeah, because Ruby's told you to. Again, if I didn't care for you, I wouldn't have done oh, it. Oh, there's a splash. And oh, nobody you told me where you missed. were. That's what Ruby said. Ruby and Sally and Amy all confirmed. They told everybody in the company. Really? Then why are there missing people posters everywhere with your Dude, face on them? Like Ruby said that'd be one of your manipulating jobs to try to manipulate me. You didn't care I was gone. Oh, what was this? What was this? What was it? Oh, in the head. You didn't care I was gone and then you want to make me think you did when I came back. So that you've been running around like a mad lunatic about a few hours beforehand to put them up. One, two, and three! It's over! You were right, he won. Oh, look! Oh, just strike <laughs> it for his cause! Really? If I what just... What are you going to attack Happy? Oh, he helped him up. Oh, they're both leaving. If I, I guess just friends. put them up, then why did I also put it in this newspaper dated four weeks ago? You probably basically around the time that you the date. How oh, can Spira, I change the date of a newspaper? You know what was it? Photoshopped it. It's a newspaper. Did you Photoshop it. It's so literally the right in front of you. Right the eyes. Right the eyes. And I put them in periodically. To hopes that somebody would there's see a you. Tilt, there's a, a, a moon salt. I kind of feel Striker was a little did it woozed. That was a good move. Was a little it woozy. That's why he didn't break that up a minute. We'll see the second why. They, they, they put everything online in this match. All three of them. What? Boom, boom, boom. I think we're going to get that in a second after this uh, beat down part we're seeing to Ivan. There's a kick to the knee. Super kick by Ivan. Here we go. Look. Here, here, here we go. Look. Boom. That should be squad kiss right there. But Strike is down from it. He got stunned for his thing. And look, he's woozy. Adam gets his foot down. And I think Strike at this point, he's, he's still a little dazed. That's why he break that up. Because he just got literally got smashed with a knuckles and a, a, a knuckle duster in the face. And then Ivan, and then he tried to grab Ivan, thinking that's just a gun. And Ivan gave him a low blow for his thing. And he hit Happy up. And they both left. Proving they're still friends. And, oh, here's the match we've been waiting for. Griffin and Grimhold. Come on, Grimhold. You've literally, all my years wages went to this match. Why? To him destroy the pervert if you go after my wife. He Same hasn't been. Person. She's been going after him. You got to see what happened last week. She, he was there sniffing her dress in her locker room. 
And we're going to listen to the back that Dane, to be to say, uh, in a second. And here comes the Griffin. You're going to get destroyed from me in the cage. In the cage. Okay, here's Dane now, people. The chamber match is perfect coming up. You don't know why. Because no one can avoid the pain that would be dished out. No one can escape. And this time, there has to be a winner. And if you give me the victory, everyone will know that you are scared Howard, basically there's no flukes involved this time, and all it will prove is that you can't handle the pain that I'm going to give to you inside that chamber. And once more, if you try to give me the victory, just prove how wimpy you really are. Staying that delusional, he thinks Gary's wimpy. Gary, today he may not care for you, next day he won't beat the living hell out of you, next day he may want to give you a kiss, that's the way he is. He's not wimpy, that's far from it. Really? I think you're delusional. Who's delusional? You! Why when? would Griffin go after your ugly ass wife? Uh, excuse me, that's rich coming from you. And you're not ugly anyway. And she's the only one there for me. Yeah, because she made it that way. I would be paralyzed I one because of her. Her no, Sally you'd be and here the other if it few, wasn't for her. For her, Sally and the other few doctors looking after me, and the, the, the benefactor who basically put up the money for it. And who was that? I don't know. They haven't said, told me. I don't, I don't think I need to know that. Oh, well, he's climbing. He's holding on. Griffin, wait. We, we, oh, phew. Okay, we're going to Gary. We're going to say, Grimmel, you must have beaten him out, not with him. <laughs> the thing is, I won't give you an easy win. The last time I did, because I wanted in a match with you. And I knew if I defeated you one more time, you'd be crying that a little girl would never accept my challenge. <laughs> so bring it on, and you're the world of purple and same madness is what is known as the Chamber of Hell. It's my cage, my time, my head happening to you. <laughs> And the qualifier would have said that he doesn't need to win. He does need to win, but I kind of want to give him a beating before he leaves. That was this all years worth wages. I was still getting paid while I was in the thingy. So technically, it was free money in a way, but still. Oh, please. Okay, come on, go and destroy him. And we just heard Gary literally telling Dane it's his chamber. He's going to destroy him. And basically, like I said, he's not a wimp. He's going to wreck him. There's a close Griffin line. Griffin is madly in love with Supernova Tiffy. Why would he go after your wife? Well, he's madly in love with her, and he basically wants Ruby too, because he because he can't have Tiffy, so he wants to get his hands on Ruby. He just wants to have he basically he's after people who are with people. He wants Sumo to be because of Ivan, and he wants Ruby because of me. I'm surprised he hasn't gone after Tanya yet, being with Wildstar, even though they are technically on the brakes for why he's not interested right now. Or going after Linda, who's with Dexter. They're probably his next targets, basically. I doubt it. Well, if you usually start going out with a frog, you probably go actually be interested in you, mate. That's what you should do. You can have a boyfriend who, you, someone else you can manipulate. I don't want anybody else. Oh, just a frog, okay. No, One, I want you. Two. Well, you ain't getting me. I'm with uh, Ruby, your mother, and you're now the stepdaughter, so stay out of this. And here comes the grim hole, that's what he said. Today is nothing personal against you, Griffin. But I've been paid to take you downtown, get some revenge on you tonight. Inside a steel cage. So the best thing you can do, take it beating, let me leave. If you try to prolong it, I'll prolong it with a lot more pain and make a grim for you. <laughs> That's why he tried to leave Dan. He basically gave him a good few wow ups and thought, well, I'm an easy money. But then Griffin, the idiot, decided, no, you're not leaving, come back and beat me more. So actually that was good, Griffin, that's what I want. Take him down again, then he can beat you some more. Come on, Griffin, do it, thank you. Wow. Come on, Grimmo, get up and I'll give him the beating he deserves. Griffin, get up, don't let uh, sorry, Grimho, get up, don't let Griffin win. Grimho, get up! Grimho, I paid for this! Grimho, get up, go up! Yeah, go on! Woo! Yeah. Beat the snarl that loser, and then he will stay away from Ruby. Again, Griffin, if you want to be hanging around with somebody, you know, Jess, she's always got a light on for everybody, so go after her. I'm sure she'll be uh, well, here uh, welling for you. No. Definitely. Hey, roll, roll. Oh, come on. What's he going? What's he going for? What's he going for? He's got his arms hooked. His arms hooked. In the air, the power. Boom! Snap that back. Back that snap. Snap that back. And we got another okay. Griffin in the back now. So he has to say. No, I'm annoyed what he tried to do. Here's Griffin. 
I'm hard as graft in the business for a reason. And tonight I'm in a cage match with Grim out of all people. I'm gonna get the job done because I'm Griff and I can get it done. I can fly. I can destroy you. And as for you, I have a topia. I have not once willingly touched Ruby. She's been following me around. She's been stalking me. She's been flinging the clothes off the time she sees me. She's, she's been trying to trap me in closets. You name it, she's trying to do it to me. And I hate her. And I want her to go away. And I want you to back off too. Especially, especially the way you treat the sexy and major student Tiffy. She's the one I prefer to be stuck with me. She's the one I wanted to throw her clothes at me. Not that old hag Ruby. What the flame is that old hag? Mm. You've already seen that because she doesn't want you. It's the other way round. Again, if you want an old hag, Jess is right here. Go and get um, her. You realize my mom's older than me, right? We're going on looks here. You said old. Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. Grandma, get Griffin. Oh, phew hoo! That's close. Yeah, he also said hack. He was obviously on looks, so not actual age was going on. Oh, he's down. He's down. He's crumbled. Come on, give him that beating. Oh, my wife, old hag. Sheesh. She is. You're so disrespectful of her daughter. Like I said, she's right, basically, how manipulating you are. Okay, he pushed her back. Oh, in the face. Yet, she's the one that kidnapped you, and I'm the bad guy. She did not kidnap me, she she saved me. I would be paralyzed now because of her. Oh, and bleeding all the place, just cracked his head open. Cracked him open like he was a walnut. It's over, it's over. One, two, three. Oh, come on, Raph, that was a three, that was a three. Referee. Really? Because I'm pretty Does sure you would have been fine as long as the IWD people... He's trying to bring it. He's hitting the face. Just bring it. How We're stupid is Griffin? able to get a hold of you in time. But I wouldn't. That's what they told me. That's why I had that therapy session. Like every night, basically every single day while I was gone to about a week before I came back. When I finally got the let out, and then a few days later we got married and had the honeymoon and that sort of thing. To we get our return. Oh, I think it's over. I think uh, Grimhold's got the job done. Yep, he's done it. That's, that's basically all my years worth of wages gone. At least I've got next year's, well, the rest of this this year to go, to get my money back. Yep, it's over. If you're married to Ruby, why not just use hers? I don't know, she doesn't have much. Because we also rat we play. What do you mean she doesn't have much? Well, she told me, basically, she used to give, she gives most of hers to a charity, and then she's the other one, she looks after her daughters, sends some to Zoe, and some to you for some unknown reason. No, she doesn't. So you basically got, basically, a quarter of her money, and, and I think you had to do a quarter, and then another quarter goes to charity, then she has a quarter left for herself. She's just a giving person. Wow. One. Two. And this is when the first kick out was. Boom. And this is when I thought Griff was going to pull this off, like, you know, pull the cat out of the bag, so to speak. But no, he crashed and burned again, it was great. She's really got you, don't she? What do you mean, she got me? We're married, of course we got each other. Look, he gets hold of him, look, whip, 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 and look at the power, look at the power, look at that! Boom! You see his neck, see his neck! The whiplash effect, the whiplash effect! And then watch this, smash! Well, somehow that thick head of his wasn't good enough until he basically got smashed in the head later on, and that's what ended it. He got smashed in the head, and then that beautiful clothesline, and it was all she wrote. Well done, Grimhold. Okay, no one turn the match for Ruby's title on the line next. And this is by Pyro, Pyro, calm down, calm down. Okay, bye, Pyro, you've already, you've already wrong. Stop hitting the bush, you've already wrong. Okay, just bring the parcel back. Uh, no, Amy did not send you. Strike is playing the trick and just bring it back. What do you, you mean? You, need to open. you don't need to open, you don't need to open. Seriously, you're open, aren't you? Okay, fine, what's in there? Bunch of ladies' underwear. What? Why is that in there? No, don't shoot! Don't, don't shoot! That's probably Amy's! Don't! Oh my god! Don't shoot it! Come on, just come on! You come back. I'll give you a big belly rub, and I'll give you five treats. No, no, no! Screw that! Seven treats! Just please take out your mouth. I can hear you mumble on the other side. Ah! Uh, I'll see you after. I uh, hope oh, Amy doesn't mind wet underwear. I crumble. After all, she said if we turn the parcel to her, she will still give us our title match that we missed the main event tonight in a week or two. Just a little bit after all, so it's still good, still good, surely. Wow. So Brace, uh, Bryce, sorry, I called him Brace for some reason. Bryce has just confirmed to everybody that he is still going to get his opportunity at the tag titles if he can win that match in a few weeks. And that has this match underway. Okay, but Carol in there, and there's this Ruthless. First name Ruth, then Les. And... Can I just kick the Carol? 
Oh, oh, straight away. What the hell? <laughs> okay, that was a fluke. That was impressive, though. That was a good drop kick. Consider how much about this we've gone. So who do you think's gonna win? Well, who in here? Obviously got Sally. So more likely Sally's gonna win this. If she fails, it's probably gonna be Zoe. And then we're looking at Tanya. Then maybe Sabrina. Abby's probably next, and Lindsay, and of course, Ruth will be the first one out. Well, second one out, because I, I would have put Carol higher in the thingy. We got Sabrina, though, she's in the back. Pre recorded, obviously, because she's out here now. See what she said. I cannot wait to get in that ring and beat up the other seven women in there. And of course, go on and get my rematch with Ruby. You won't escape my grasp this time. And I just want to add very quickly I'm glad I have Adobe's back. And I'm so glad he's seen since. And staying away from Jess. But you basically jumped from the fire pan into the fire by marrying Ruby. Well, I'm glad you uh, glad I'm staying away from Jess, but I didn't jump into the fire marrying Ruby. She's the only one who cares about me. She's not. Well, she's, uh, Sabrina's not your big fan either. She said, I'm glad I'm away from you. She's never been my biggest fan because I'm in love with you, and she is in love with you. Who is? Sabrina! Oh, she's not be silly. Yeah, she is. You're an idiot for not realizing it. <laughs> very funny. I know she's basically was happy she's one of my biggest fans growing up. She's told me that in the past. It's not the only thing she is. Well, there's Tanya taking down Ruth. So, since you are technically a former women's champion, and you are technically a wrestler, what's your thoughts on this Ruth so far? She's really good. I mean, within two seconds, she had somebody out. She is somebody to keep an eye on, that's for sure. I guess, I mean, the impressive debut, the first, almost the first, second or third move you did, you took out Carol. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. But still, she, there's seven other women in here, she's so not going to win this. And what's your thoughts? Who do you think's going to win since you asked me earlier? I already answered. I honestly think it might be Ruth. Why would it be Ruth? She's getting pummeled with feet by Abby. She might be getting pummeled, but think about it. All the rest of these girls have fought each other except for Ruth. Yeah, but I think Ruth is the smallest in there, is she not? She looks the skinniest and the lightest in there. No. She, seems, she does. She seems a lot faster, though. She's got speed to advantage. I and think the smallest in there is Zoe. What the? It's always went out. What the hell? I don't think Zoe is. I think she's actually bigger than Ruth. So I guess you she's want a little, Zoe to win. She's a little thicker than uh, Ruth. Not by much. Oh, there's Sabrina. What the hell? <laughs> she took her out. Tanya took out Sally, and then she, and then Ruth just took out Sabrina, and we're ahead of the back now. Let's see what's going on. Hey, darling, oh! how did Striker get a key to your house to get your oh! underwear? What do you mean? Oh, He's not yeah. my underwear. We're talking about. Oh yeah. It's all over oh, no. the locker room. Oh no. The parcel's been opened by Powder Jean, oh! and he's got your underwear. Oh no. What? 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 Oh, oh no. Who said he could open oh, that? No. Seriously. Ugh. Fight. Striker got a key. Because some nincompoop, by the way, they're fired now. I repeat, they are fired. Gave him my spare house key. Oh, no! Which was for oh, emergencies yeah. in the office. Anyone know how oh, I got it? Yeah. He goes, oh, Well, no. I'm her husband, so I need a key to her house. Oh. The fact is, he may be my husband. Oh. But I have never and would oh, never no. give him a key to my house oh, no. for that very reason! Well, at least the great Shade Stopper himself oh! got himself a loss earlier tonight, so oh! that's good at least. And yes, I'm still oh, yeah. trying to scrape oh, the yeah. paint off that he put oh, in my office no! the other day. Oh, no! It's costing me so much trouble to get stuff. Oh! Ugh, I don't even know what kind of paint it oh, is, no! but it's not coming up, and oh, I can't no! paint over it. Oh, no! Ugh. Nothing is working. Oh! I've even hired professionals, and they still can't get it off. Well, darling, a little advice for you. When you oh, have no. to live or coincide oh, yeah. with somebody oh, as yeah. nasty and oh, ugly no. and disgusting as my oh. daughter Jess as I have done for years, oh, you learn no. to put some kind of shield up oh, no. and block it all out. Oh, that no. way you can be a stronger person and you can look the other cheek, so to oh. speak, and when the time is right, you oh. slap their face off and you embarrass the oh, hell out yeah. of them. And you oh, get your yeah. revenge on them. That's oh, no. what you do with Striker. It's oh, that no. simple. Look at me and Ivan. Oh. We're husband and wife. He's the oh, head no. announcer, and I'm the greatest oh, one in no. of all time. And you've got a good oh, friend no. in Sally. I've got the Ruby Tower oh. backing me, and the boss. And as you'll see, it all turn around for you eventually. Oh. See, she's proud of me, and she's getting good advice how to deal with people like you. Please, that woman's never loved me what? since the day Tiny I was born. What? just took out Lindsay. 
No, she adored you. No, she didn't. Down to the final four, one of these will be taking on Ruby for the women's title. Obviously, we'll have a chance to get the Christmas champion of all time. Or really? Tanya. They will have a chance, especially without me backing her anymore. Of course they will. They won't have a chance on me. And what? why? Why? What? I just realised, it was Zoe wins. It would be Mother vs. Daughter. I can remember. And Ruby found it so hard to basically hit Zoe. <laughs> it was you. She found it easy because of how, how nasty you are. Please. Well, Zoe. Not Ruby's still in there. She's gonna win. Zoe's gonna win mm. this. Zoe just fell. Oh, she's pinning her! That was very unique! Two! Come on. Three! Zoe's gone! That was a very unique pin! She used mm -hmm. the full body weight and everything! We're down to final three. Tanya really needs to push this off. Speaking of her, I have it in the back. That Wild Style's coming up. So let's see what he has to say. Oh, look at this big move. And here's Wild Style. I really hope Tanya wins today because I'm wild and style and I want to basically celebrate with her with the boots and I'm sick of this break. The star is here, the star is bright, the star sees the sadness in you tonight. He's right, I can see it too, everyone can see it. Grand out loud, you put that mirror to your face, long to crack, they can see it too. What? You just call me ugly. And that doesn't matter. The point what matters is that we want you and Tanya back together. You deserve to be together. And if that means her boots stay on, whatever that means, then if we ever see her barefoot, I am knocking her down and I'm shoving them boots on for you. And I'll make sure and I'll tell a piece of my mind, keep them boots on all night. Because my side gets very sad when you take them off for some reason. The star is bright. The star is right. The cloth doesn't get what's happening this night. Or any night, in fact. Thanks for your support, I guess. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome Cause me and the star are best friends forever Best friends forever And we could use you if you wanna join us And we'll make sure, we'll make sure, we will make sure Tanya's boots never come off Even if she gets sore feet And Veruca's, Veruca's, Veruca, that bazooka Veruca, Veruca uh, Star, is your friend okay? Star is right, the star is bright The star feels the claw gets broke some nights Alrighty then, I'll just be going exit stage left. What the? A oh, one, two! <laughs> Zoe! Oh, she kicked out. Whoa! Big miss by Ruth. So, what was that about? If Tanya has bazookas, no, Veruca's, wasn't it? On her feet, and they see where her, feet, uh, her shoes are, he's gonna push her down and shove boots on her. For a wild style. I don't think that's what's happening. Two! Oh, I kicked out. I don't think she's gonna win this match anyway. Whoa, Tanya! Told you. Holy fudge! Hey, oh, you're no pick one. against mine. Come on, Zoe, you can get the job done. I guess your second pick. Oh, look at this. We're going in the back. There's a pretty good from Zoe herself. Let's see what she had to say to Lucy Knight about this very match. So it seems that I have to go through seven women today and then take my mom on. No offense, mother. You may be the greatest women's champ of all time. But that's only because it's not around my ways, and I'll be coming for you and taking my title back. I wish I was taking off Jess again. But backers can't be choosers in this situation, now can they? Yes, yeah, like I said, fortunately for you, Zoe, when you take on Ruby, you will lose. But, like you said, too bad it wasn't Jess, because then you could take the title off her again. Like she'd win. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this, whoa! I'm telling you, Ruth is gonna win. Well, yeah, looking at them, I think Zoe was the smallest in there. No, actually, Carol was the smallest, then Zoe. But I think with Ruth in there, I think Ruth is the smallest finished. She may be slightly taller, but she doesn't have the same bulk as uh, the other women in the match. she can't win. I'm not saying that she can't, but she's in there against Zoe, got the experience, and she's a lot tougher than her, so she ain't going to get pulled it off. Whoa, what a move! Holy fudge! One, two! two. Whoa! Got her arm up. One way, I kind of want Ruth to win it for the simple reason I, I know Ruth would be so upset that she has to beat a, uh, her good daughter. Oh, what a move! At the pay per view. So to st stop the pain of that happening, then I actually would like Ruth to win. If she cared that much for her daughter, she wouldn't have married you, no offense. What's that supposed to mean? You know that Zoe was head over heels for you. Yeah, and you ru ru ruined that relationship so that we could never be together. So then oh, why stretching, would stretching she get you and Zoe back together? She's stretching her. She's stretching her. Oh. Rumba. Knowing how much Zoe was madly in love with you. Zoe's moved on. To who? Well, just older me and I've moved on too. I've not seen Zoe with anybody. She's hanging around Bryce and them of late. Doesn't mean she's with them. Oh, look at this move. Again. Hey, Karumba, she's got to snap her in too. Ruth can take it. 
Oh, she's whipped her. Oh, she dodged her. What's she going go for? Oh! I think uh, Zoe stopped that then. She managed to have cut herself on the ropes. Otherwise, that could have been devastating. Oh! I think that's what she was going for a minute ago. Oh, great! Reversal by Zoe there! To Ruth. What a name could you? Ruth and uh, your surname's Les. So, Ruth Les. She's whipped her. Oh, again! Open on belly to belly, people! Open on belly to belly! She's going high. What's this for? Oh, what a... I can almost like a hangman move then. Oh, she, oh, she's janking on and she's setting up. Don't you see that? Told you, Ruth. Ruth is the one tender. Well, she's going to be taking Ruby and get destroyed. So well done for that, I guess. Hi, Karumba. Oh, she'll kill Ruby. I don't think so. Ruby's got the strength. She's. I give it advantage. She has the advantage in speed, but not the spirit and the strength that Ruby has. Zoe's good, but again, she'll have the strength of her mother. Karumba. We're going to match replays in a second. She seems to be enjoying herself in the ring. Well, she said she just won. Oh, she got attacked! Oh, no, she just helped her up. I thought she was going to wallop Zoe. She just helped her back to her feet. Huh, well, good sportsmanship then, apparently. That's surprising. Expect that from her. So we go to the thing. This is how Kara went out within like the first 10 to 20 seconds. I told you she'd win. And this is where Tanya took out Sally. So both of them take one out each at this point. The, the, the kicks to Ruth there. The double suplex to Tanya, don't want to get her down. And there, boom, when Sabrina goes out. So that's for Ruth. And then uh, Tanya took out Lindsay. So there's like 2 2 at the moment with these two. Mm -hmm. And Ruth threw into Tanya. And then, she, then Ruth then pins Abby. So it's 3 2 to her. She took out Tanya. You're about to see, because it'll be in the match replays. Ruth makes it 4 2. That came out of nowhere, that move. And then Ruth takes out Zoe, so that's... 5 to 2. Yeah, but uh, if she didn't take Tanya out then, Tanya would have gone to win this, I think. I think she was the strongest and biggest in there, but somehow she didn't expect the explosive speed of Ruth and it caught her off balance. And by that look of catching off balance, but again, what you put pointing out earlier, no one's seen her wrestle before, no one knows her, her moves, and then the unknowing part actually gave her the surprise attacks that allowed her to pull this off and win it. And I think that's the only reason she was able to take Tanya out. Because Tanya's uh, too big, too strong, and, and got too much weight on her to that to happen normally. But she was expecting, when she was there, she already in her face, legs around her, whipping her over. And I think that's the reason she won it. She had a great debut, but it's because of, as you point out again, the surprise factor. That allowed her to get the victory here over everyone. Without that surprise factor, once she has more matches, she won't be able to do that anymore. She's also pretty good, so... Yeah, and the surprise factor. No one knew what move she was going to come from her. No one knew she was going to be weak, speedy. She didn't look strong, but she could have been. Well, look, she did take a beating in this, so it did push her. But Zoe might have been slightly overconfident in this match. Especially being in the hand down with a newbie, and I think that's what messed her up. Plus, she probably in the back of her head like, I don't really want to face my mum. And that's also made her hold back slightly, and then Ruth took advantage of it. That's the reason she won that. Why did it happen? You're just making I'm not, I'm just saying what happened. Anyway, I've been having an answer. I have a job for you. Please like, please subscribe, please tune next time. You've been awesome. And next time has been here. Yeah, yes, yeah, awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, her again. See you next time. Bye, everybody.